Okay, here I am out in my garage playing around with solar powered uh, garden light circuits. So the idea is I've got a white LED here and behind it is this little four pin device called a QX5252F. This is the brains inside a lot of the cheap garden lights that you find outside. And over here I have a NICAD, actually it's a nickel metal hydride and a loop battery, 1.5 volts. By itself 1.5 volts is not enough to actually power this thing. But uh, with this circuit, it provides a boost so that it can. And it's being controlled by this little tiny uh, solar cell over here, which I liberated from another garden light so I could experiment. And all this wiring is horribly terrible, but uh, I just had a few minutes to duke around with this. And the cool thing is when the energy stops, the LED starts to glow and vice versa. So this is the circuit. So in this stage, it's actually putting current into the inner loop, and in this stage, it's actually discharging through the battery. And it doesn't throw out a ton of light. Um, I could totally kill the light out here. Um, and that's enough to do it. So it's kind of semi-dark out here. I don't have all of my lights off. But uh, anyway, um, this is just the experiment that I was trying to... Uh, trying to do, and it seems to work. So next stage over the next couple days is I'll get an Arduino and a data logger out here. I wanna find out how much current I can actually get over the sun, I'll put this outside in the sun where I can see what's going on and then record how much current and stuff. I think this thing only gives about 30 milliwatts. These inner loops are a lot better than the batteries that were in the cheap uh, garden lights. So these have like 1600 milliamp hours or something, I think, uh, will it say here? somewhere in here, 1900 milliamp hours. So these are a lot more powerful. The one that was inside the uh, uh, garden light was a AAA and it was rated only for 160 milliamp hours. So these have like 15 times the storage. But it'll be interesting to see how much it can charge and all that kind of stuff and what the current is. I pulled a hundred mil, oh, the other part active component in this is this inductor, which looks like a resistor, but it's a hundred microhenry inductor. And that's kind of all there is to it. Um, the parts of this are really simple. I got the solar cell for out of other one, so it's basically cost a dollar. Uh, LEDs are about five cents. The uh, little QX whatever thing majiggers are, I got 20 of them for like a buck and a half on eBay. They're super cheap. And then the uh, inductor was just something I had lying around. I don't know what you'd have to pay for that, but. Anyway, um, it's not too exciting except to uh, kind of as an experiment in really low power battery charging. Hope you all are having a good night. This is what I do for fun when I'm bored. Talk to you later.